Do you want me to go with you? Emma, are you feeling okay? I have a stomach ache. You look so pale. Does it hurt a lot? Yes, it's so painful. How long have you had it? For like half an hour. You should go to the hospital and check. Yes, ugh, it will go now. Do you want me to go with you? Yes, if you don't mind. Okay, let me get my bag and we will go. Okay, can you drive? I don't think I can focus on driving with this pain. Sure, I will drive. Rest yourself in the back seat. Okay. Thank you, Nina. Not at all. I'll take you. Hi, I'm Jake, your new flatmate. Hi, Jake, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, too. Are you a student of UAE University, too? Yes, I am. Where are you from? I'm from Bristol. And you? I'm from Essex. Are you a fresher? Yes, I am. This is my first time I've been here. How about you? I'm a junior. Wow, you must be very familiar with this city. Yes, I've spent three years exploring the city. Is there any interesting place near here? Many. If you want, I'll take you around. Thank you. That's so nice of you. You're welcome. We ran out of food in the fridge. Where are you going, Layla? I'm going to the supermarket. But it's raining heavily outside. But we ran out of food in the fridge. Wait a bit. It's raining too hard now. Okay, then. Is there nothing left in the fridge? Yes. Why do I remember there are some eggs left? No, I made them yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, later. I will go with you. Why? I want to go with you. We should buy more at one time. I think so, too. Now I go to the supermarket like three to four times a week. Yes. It's a waste of time. Can I make an appointment? Hello, may I help you? Is Dr. Mike available today? His schedule is full today. How about tomorrow? Yes, he is still available tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. Can I have your name, please? Isabel Smith. What time do you want to make for the appointment? Is it okay at 3 p.m.? Yes, it is. What is your problem? I need to note it down. I have sleep difficulty, and I want to have a blood test. Okay. Your appointment at 3 p.m. has been set. Thank you. You're welcome. Please be on time tomorrow. Yes, I will. You were speeding, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, officer. What's wrong, sir? Do you know what speed you were doing? No, I didn't pay attention. It was 120 miles per hour. You were speeding, ma'am. <gasps> oh, really? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Can I have your docs, please? Here you are. Thanks. Why were you speeding, ma'am? I'm in a hurry. My daughter is sick at home. 
I'm sorry to hear that, but next time you shouldn't speed, okay? Sure, I won't. Now you can go home, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day, officer. Thanks. You too, ma'am. How do you spell it? Hello, I'm Amy. Hi, my name is Laura. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. So, are you the new one living in room 5? Yes, it's me. Where are you from? I'm from French. Oh, so is your name not Amy? A-M-Y? No, but it sounds the same. How do you spell it? A-I-M-E-E. -E. Oh, I got it. So, how many people are there in our flat? There are five people. You will meet them soon. Where are they now? They are in the university now. Okay, let me take my stuff to my room first. Talk to you later, Amy. Tui loses her car keys. U.S. Treasuries tick higher as equity investors... Oh no, it's not possible. What happened? I can't find my car keys. I'm going to be late for work. Do you have a spare set? Yes, but I don't know where they are. Try your coat pockets. I already have! Can you make a more sensible suggestion? It's no good for getting cross with me. I was only trying to help. Get out of my way! Calm down. Think. When did you last have them? I don't know. I can't think. Stop panicking. You look in the bedroom and I'll check the kitchen. They're not in the bedroom. This is terrible. I found them. <gasps> oh, you are wonderful. Where did you find them? You'd left them in the car. Oh, what a relief. I must dash. I'm very late. I hope the traffic won't be too congested. Calm down. Take a deep breath and drive carefully. It's better to be late than to have an accident. Just shopping. Hi, Sally. Long time no see. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Kay. Same as you, I expect. Just shopping. Great. Is that a new dress? Yes, it is. I got it yesterday. Do you like it? Well, it's very, um, very short for you, isn't it, Sally? Short is in the summer, didn't you know? Oh, I don't read any of those fashion magazines. I can tell you don't. Well, this is the latest fashion from Milan. Oh, I know it's popular. I've seen that kind of dress a lot. Seems everyone is wearing it these days. I prefer something more individual. Yes, so I see. What actually is it that you're wearing? It's a pair of shorts, but it looks like a skirt. See? Oh yes! How original! Did you make it yourself? No. Marvelous. But I'm just not sure it's quite you, Kay. Oh, really, Sally? Well, never mind. Perhaps it's too... sophisticated for you. 
Mm, no, I don't think it's that. But you're right. I can't see me in it somehow. Anyway, must hurry. I've got more shopping to do. Well, good luck, Sally. Keep reading those magazines. Thanks, Kay. Perhaps you should buy some, too. Excuse me, are you Miss Davis? No, I'm not Miss Davis, but I know who she is. Great, can you tell me where to find her? I'm not sure where she is in the building now. I do know what she looks like, though. Can you describe her, please? She is a tall woman with dark brown hair and light brown eyes. Do you know what she's wearing? Yes, she is wearing a white dress shirt and a black blazer and skirt. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you find her. A blind date. I have a surprise for you, Bridget. What is it? I am sending you on a blind date with my coworker, Joshua. You two would make a perfect couple. Thanks, but I do not even know what he looks like. He is very handsome. He has a very friendly face. What do you mean by friendly face? He has a bright smile, beautiful blue eyes, and smooth skin. He will make you smile. I know you like tall guys as well, and he is 6'3". He sounds very attractive. Hey, David. What's up? Hmm. I have a crush on that girl over there. I really want to talk to her, but I'm too shy to start a conversation. You have to step out of your comfort zone, bro. I don't know what to do, really. Let me teach you. First, you have to create a situation. What do you mean? I don't get it. If you just sit next to her and try to say something, there is a chance that she will find a reason to end the conversation. If you want to talk to her next time, next time, you have to... <gasps> oh, I know what you mean. I should drop something into her shirt, apologize to her, and ask for her contact to make it up to her. Great idea, bro. Okay, I'm ready. Wish me luck. I believe in you, Andy. How was it, man? Did you succeed? No. Oh my god, why? Your plan was perfect. You couldn't have failed. Tell me what happened. Well, when I dropped the coffee onto her shirt and said sorry, <gasps> she turned red and didn't say anything. Before leaving, she told me, Nice try. What did that mean? I don't know what to say, Andy. But dropping coffee in someone wearing a white t-shirt is not a good idea. She will think you had the intention to harm her. Is that so? I shouldn't have bought coffee. 
Oh. Yeah, everything looks good, except the coffee. I thought she and I were meant to be, but it seems like she rejected me immediately. Perhaps you are not destined to her, Andy. But don't worry, there are seven billion people in the world. Finding a lover isn't that hard. Never mind. Don't be sad, bro. Let me buy you a drink. Maybe you're right. I should forget about that girl. Told you, man. Um, excuse me? Are you Andy from the business department? Yes, I am. Do you have a moment? Yes, please. Go ahead. Well, it is quite awkward, but I really want to exchange SNS accounts with you. I just wonder. Oh, sure, no problem. Here's mine. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I will text you later. Do you know what just happened, David? I think you've just found your fate, Andy. Congrats, man. I don't know how to describe my emotions right now, but I'm on cloud nine. Do you think I should text her a message first? Definitely, bro. Girls love that type of boyfriend. Come on, I'm not her boyfriend yet. You sure will. Trust me, Andy. Uh -huh.